morning. We got some happy chickens today. That's that milk soaked green I was telling you about. It just kind of helps them fill their bellies a little bit. <laughs> They're pretty happy. I thought we'd do today's video a little bit differently. So I've been thinking about today's video pretty much all week. And usually I film a couple of days in advance and then I get it edited and all that. But today I have to hang out in this bunny pen and watch these bunnies for a little bit because we lost one yesterday. And of course the kids were very upset. And uh and I thought, oh, this will be a great opportunity to hang out with you guys. So welcome to our bunny barn. We have five New Zealand bunnies at the moment. And sometimes, especially with rabbits, they can just pass away. You, you don't really know. There's not really a real reason. They may probably had some kind of weakness. It could have been a runt. And that's what it looks like in this case. <clears throat> Rabbits are not really, especially in our setup, they're not really affected by the cold unless they're very, very little. They huddle together and they stay warm and they have a nice little box that we built um, for them. <laughs> While we're hanging out this morning, I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit about authenticity. It's been really on my heart lately. So if you don't have a cup of tea, maybe grab a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. If you're a coffee drinker, you know me and I like my tea. <laughs> um, and uh, anyway, we'll, we'll get cozy here and I'm going to keep an eye on these bunnies and just kind of watch them. Keep an eye out for anything that I maybe hadn't noticed and, and we'll visit for a bit. They're so cute. <laughs> um, so something that keeps cropping up lately is, is this being true to yourself thing. This, you know, being authentic, being who you are. And sometimes we might go through our entire life and we have no idea that we've taken on something it could have come from our childhood, from our parents, it could have come from a sibling, or maybe from, from a uh, teacher, or many teachers, this, a system. Um, you know, it really can come from anywhere. You just end up taking on these things that are not you, they're not who you are. And, and then, especially if you take them on early in life, you begin to do things that you perceive as right. That is, that's just becomes who you are, who you think you are. And, you know, um, <clears throat> you may have thought that there was high value in a particular system. And, and this, the example I'm going to give you is in um, being productive, overly productive, and um, not resting, and making sure that, you know, um, being, I'm going to have to watch out, here comes the kitty. You can't come in here, kitty. Hi, you're very cute. Nope. <coughs> yeah, that's dangerous, little guy. I'm gonna have to watch the kitty. <laughs> Might have to shut the door. Um, but just, you know, doing things to the point that you are sacrificing of yourself, but sacrificing way too much of yourself. And so, and I, um, I grew up with a dad who stayed home, um, and was pretty much the opposite of that and and a mom who went to work every day and 
and she just was the epitome of you know work every day you you just it doesn't matter if you're sick it doesn't matter if it snowed um you get to work you made a commitment to be at this job and you will you work this job and um and i just grew up thinking wow that's amazing like we did the same thing it doesn't matter if you're sick you go to school it doesn't matter if you um are hurt or you know just whatever you just go you do your commitment and you know um we went to the public school system and uh <laughs> these guys are such a fun color <coughs> they saw the rat the cat anyway <clears throat> and basically my childhood made it so that i could achieve an enormous amount of things in a day and and I don't sit still very well now part of that is really who I am but part of that is not and I didn't realize that until very recently um, within the last six months or so um, <clears throat> hi Astrid <laughs> The kids are feeding the puppies and finishing chores. <laughs> the puppy just found me. Um, <clears throat> she can't get in here. Anyway, so, so I have been sort of deconstructing those things in myself. And <laughs> hang on, I'll be right back. Astrid, good girl. Hey, you don't want to go out there. <clears throat> Cat and the dog are having a standoff. It's never uh, dull around here, that's for sure. Nope. Go on, kitty. Anyway, um, so I've been trying to find the balance of resting. Anyway, um, So, I've been spending time making sure that I rest. So like today is Friday, we take Fridays off. Um, I take it to spend time with kids. We don't do a typical homeschool day. Um, a lot of times we'll do tea parties and, and I'll just let the kids help make whatever food they wanna make. They pick the menu for the, for the day and, and we just, we just hang out and get our snuggles in and, and take it easy. Um, training puppies and children at the same time. <laughs> um, anyway, I've just been learning that it's okay to be tired. It's okay to say no. It's okay to make a commitment and then life gets involved. And, and you have to, to say, I can't do that anymore. And, um, I, I think that we, as a generation have grown up in a time when, you know, you just, you cannot be who you are. You have to fit this mold. You have to go to school. You have to sit in your desk and be quiet all day long, um, from, you know, very early on in life. And, um, and that's really not who God made us to be. And honestly, that's that's the real reason why I homeschool. Um, oh, well, I didn't foresee this coming. She can hear me, so she wants to mind me and not the kids. <laughs> Food trick, hopefully it will work. Anyway, I chose to homeschool my kids because I, um, I take absolute joy in the way God made each of us. He made us each different. He made all of us have different strong suits and uh, weaknesses. And oh, don't, don't chew on my camera. No mama. Looks like she needs some more sticks. Um, <laughs> no mama. <laughs> Everybody's feeling feisty today. Um, 
And I don't believe that you can become your own individual, unique, full self within certain systems. And so, um, I, I mean, I really have spent an entire adulthood tearing down things from my childhood, tearing down things from, uh, the school system that I was a part of. Nope, mama. Um, tearing down things that were instilled in me in certain from certain family members and it's been a really long process and I thought you know what why should my kids have to go through that why can't they start better off than I am now and and that doesn't mean I want them not to struggle because I really do because struggles do bring out those traits in us it the ones that are golden those ones that are so strong and um and they just really reveal who's what's inside who what did god pack in there and um and so i just wanted to talk to you guys about that today and just share with you it's okay to be who you are in fact it is so amazing to be who you are don't forget and if if you thought something was of high value and and it's made you make certain choices it's okay to let that go if it's not true it's okay to make boundaries it's all right to say no it's okay to take a day of rest it's okay to take a week of rest if you need to or a whole year we have been on a year of rest now i know that this all of what we do doesn't look like rest but it really is i genuinely do not like to just sit around. I, if I have hours in the day, I'm going to fill them. I'm going to fill them with snuggling baby bunnies. I'm going to fill them with snuggling my children or teaching my children, um, or having tea or talking to you guys. I, I love, passionately love all of these things. Um, and some people may say, oh my gosh, you're so busy. And the truth is, is that yes, I am busy but I value relationships. So there will always be room for relationship in my life. That's who I am. Um, it matters to me more than anything else. I have lost so many relationships over the years for various reasons. And, um, and so I just try to, you know, that's one of the reasons we have this farm is that I absolutely want to have a place where not only do me and my family love to be uh, a, a retreat from this world, but I want other people to feel welcome to come to our farm. And, and I'm thankful because all of the things that have happened in this last couple of years, um, has proven that that is what we have created here because people usually migrate here. We have lots of dinners with friends. Um, we have, we have dinners with strangers even, and, and it's so much fun. Like I, you just never know who's going to end up at our table or who's going to wander through our garden. And, and the real key to that is I don't have to do anything. I don't have to make that happen. I just have to be who I am who I really am. And it's like the right people, the right timing, the right opportunities, um, the opportunities and treasures and special things that God made for me and wove into my lifetime, find me. And I think that is the most amazing, wonderful thing, but it isn't just for me. It's for all of you guys too. It's for every single one of us who walk this earth. We are all God's people. And he did that for every single person. And I just think that is the most amazing thing. Now, um, I wanted to share this little resource with you guys because I have had a very tough, um, well, let's just say people tell me that I've been in survival mode for seven years, seven years, <laughs> seven. <laughs> I don't want to be in survival mode. I don't want to live my life in survival mode. I want to live my life in joy and peace, no matter what the circumstances are. And that is what I am tackling this year. 
I am sloughing off anything that is not of me. I am going after the joy of the Lord. I want it to emanate from me, even if I am in an awful circumstance. And believe me, we have had a few already this year. It doesn't mean that, that, that God's just going to give me joy. It doesn't mean that God's just going to give me peace. He's going to provide the opportunities for me to go after those things. It's amazing. It's like when I was a kid and everybody always said, don't pray for patience. What did I do? I prayed for patience. <laughs> I'm probably the most patient person, <laughs> except for when you're waiting to watch for an animal out in the woods and you're just sitting there. I don't do that very well. <laughs> My husband teases me. <clears throat> but God didn't give me patience. He gave me opportunities to create patience. It's amazing. So something that I have been doing this year is there's this book by, um, I believe Arthur Burke. And I will definitely link it down in the description for you. And it is called joy and it's a book of blessing. Um, now when I first came across this, it was way out there for me. Uh, but the results have been incredible and I don't want to keep it to myself. I definitely, I want you guys to be able to get a hold of that resource so that you can walk in joy and you can walk in the fullness of who God made you to be. Um, I hope you've enjoyed our little chat. I just really, really felt like we needed to have a chat. And I have had the opportunity to watch these little bunnies. All of these little bunnies are just fine. I'm excited to say that. And mom is chewing on her wall. So before this video is over, I'm going to bring her some branches because I don't want her chewing on the wall. <coughs> she has plenty of sticks in here to chew on. I think she just wants the bark. So we'll give her some fresh ones, but I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope that you've enjoyed our time together this morning and um, I hope you've enjoyed watching my little bunnies. <laughs> I just think they're so cute. My kids were not happy with me because I kicked them out of the bunny barn this morning. <laughs> the kids usually come out and snuggle. But <clears throat> thank you for joining me on my homestead today. If you're enjoying these videos, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. Or even give us a like so other people can watch these videos. We'll see you guys again real soon. Oh, hopefully she'll be happy with that. She didn't do all that damage there on the wall. That was from a different rabbit. Kind of a crazy rabbit. We had to cull that one. But they're happy. I'm happy. I left the tripod in here for too long, though, and uh, she chewed on my tripod. Silly rabbits.